Setting up a new business, especially in the COVID-19 era, can be a nightmare as even existing entities struggle to stay afloat. For operators who have had to shut down, they cannot overlook exploring other opportunities to raise money to meet family responsibilities. Joining us is Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin tells the story of a computer service center owner who found new ways to make up for losses caused by the closure of schools. It is 1 p.m. Thursday. 48-year-old owner of CompuNet Kidi Center, Edward Kwame Nkrumah, is busy at work. It was just a day, a daydream. In fact, selling food has become one of my passion. Yes, over the years, um, I've always had this urge to, I mean, sell or uh, prepare food for the masses. And in fact, myself, I am into uh, training. I have a computer school and then also have a kiddie school. But Edward began this food joint just after the three-week partial lockdown due to COVID-19. For about two months, uh, you realize that there will be no money in your pockets. And then every money you also have in the bank will be spent. So I kept asking myself, uh, what can I do to survive? Because as I stand here now, I don't know when this, uh, there's going to be a lift on this uh, 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 public band or the, let me say, the social gathering. So therefore, the idea just came. Why don't I start a food joint? It's nice. I like their food. And, and the way, uh, uh, they know the way they treat customers. Uh -huh. That's why I always come here. But the way they treat customers is excellent. The food is affordable. Yeah, I, I just finished a, a 10 um, cities uh, plate. Edward set up this school to train kids, but COVID-19 has rendered it redundant due to restriction on public gathering and especially closure of schools. Back to Edward's food joint. I wouldn't say the sales has been very bad, but I, I can say that almost every day we are able to make about 200 Ghana CDs plus. At the beginning, people were a bit skeptic about the whole thing. I mean, people didn't know what we're doing here, but I think gradually the people in Kumasi are getting to know what we are doing, the taste of our food, and they're enjoying it. And the location is um, it's also uh, good because you can sit outside and enjoy the uh, free air and everything. So I think um, the place is good, location is fine. So how did Edward suddenly become a cook? I didn't actually learn, but I picked it up from my mom, who is a caterer. And uh, being an only son, usually when she gets orders, I am the only person she will call to come and assist. So from time to time, I copied a lot of skills from her. And then also, because I said cooking is my passion, I always, I always want to cook something for friends. So I also decided to do a little bit of research by reading a lot of books, going to the net and researching, and that's where I picked the skills from. The future, they say, is unknown, and whatever that would happen tomorrow is certainly unknown to a fallible man. Well, the past is perception. The only truth is a present. Another ethical truth is to plan for the future exactly what Edward did, though he is aware the future is unknown. You don't have to keep all your eggs in one basket. There's no way we can do away with food and water. So if there's anything you have to invest, in Ghana now, or in this world now, all we do is that you eat, you get sick and you need medicine. These two things, you can't do away with it. <laughs> A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin.